What's happening, people? Anything goes here. Back again with another ghost reaction. If you're new What's to that? If you're new to the channel. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing as always. Hitting us up in those comments and clicking the bell for the notifications. You can also come and support the man, damn, by clicking the join button. Mm -hmm. Today we've got Nukes latest. He's back. <sighs> Nukes later. I think I was videos. right last week when I said he's just having a week off because they're all struggling to find videos. Contentium. Mm. So, yay. It's been a while. I wonder what he's going to have in a bag for us today. Click if you dare. Oh, why do they... They're all coming out with these. I don't dare, so... <laughs> I'm not going to click. I'm just going to press a button. Spiker says that he recently moved into a new apartment in Colombia with his wife. Mm. So after Diego finishes moving close, the furniture into their new living room and setting it Mexico. up, he records a video to send to his wife to show her how it turned out. So but instead, he catches this. <laughs> A small childlike hand can be seen opening the TV cabinet door, but when Diego rushes over, there's no one there. Cut to two weeks later, and Diego hears creepy noises coming from the wardrobe in their bedroom. Mm, Diego is now intent on capturing more evidence of I the paranormal activity this is going. in his nope. new home. So he pulls out his phone and records as he goes to investigate. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Don't look in there. Sorry? Going again. As Diego opens the wardrobe door, the pale apparition of a child can be seen standing inside the closet. And on instinct, he shoves the closet door closed <laughs> in the door. But gathering his courage, he quickly opens it again. And there's nothing there but are these videos real are they just a very well done arg or is it all just an elaborate hoax who's odd you decide viewer videos Who, who's odd arg stands for aerial re replacement giraffes i thought it was acoustic republican Genitalia. Do you spell genitalia with a J? No. What? You know, you know, you know. That. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Here? Uh, that looked pretty nasty. Um, like you know how like when do you fake a video, mm. you can like kind of tell. There seemed like it had like elements. That the kid when he opened the door looked like it was had substance to it. Do you know what I mean? It looked like... It looked three-dimensional. Yeah, it looked like there was actually... Like, a, a kid. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, um, <coughs> if Nuke's going to have a week off and then start putting stuff like that up, then thank you. I kind of got vibes like... Like a horror horror movie vibe from it. Yeah, kind of. Like... The only difference is, it's more like the, the hand shot of the little draw thing as opposed to... They don't really do the wardrobe ones. I would have done the exact same thing. What, shla girl, <laughs> shla it right in you, face. Yeah, but you would have opened it again. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Throw it o over onto the door so the doors can't open. And have a nice little walk, little Sunday walk to the petrol garage. Get a jerry can full of petrol. I thought, I'd, I could picture you taking two jerry cans, not one, because one won't be enough. Uh, just back up in case. Australian paranormal researcher Julie from the YouTube channel Unearthly Wonderings invites her friends and fellow investigators on her live stream panel to discuss everything supernatural. Little do they know that one of them is about to have a chilling paranormal encounter live on camera. Someone's got whispering. I just heard it. Yeah, 
Kang is hearing it from uh, Terry's end, I think. Yeah. Hear that? And you, you're not touching anything, are you, Terry? Like, no. In and out, but you're jumping in and out. No, no, no nothing. <laughs> trying to focus. See if any of the dots behind her are moving. Uh, yeah, I've been focusing on that, but she, like, yeah. Terry keeps going, like, trying to focus, like, like Let's put her up for a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the big tree. Yeah. Hey, Terry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Just you. so we can see your dots on that for a second. So uh, we can see anything. Bloody hell, Terry. Show us your dots, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, Terry, your light's off. Now you can see. <laughs> I you thought that was it. On your nose. A dog on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Everything's good. You never touch in your mouth. What? Yeah, hey, when you make your head, it went from your nose to your mouth. Crack it again. Bit. Did you see it? I was going to say, can you see Terry it? Terry from the YouTube channel, Terry Charms, live and beyond, doesn't see or feel anything when a dark hand and fingers appear oh. to reach over and touch her left shoulder. Okay, I when didn't her see friends that. notice the creepy incident, they are shocked. <laughs> Terry, what's behind? That's what I it? just looked at. Did you see that it's over your shoulder? Like your like, fingers go like this. Yeah, behind over it. your shoulder. You what? have like fingers sticking up fingers behind your shoulder. Like See, if you lot did this to me, I'd be switching. What do you mean behind me? Shut up. Turn your head the other way. It was right behind you. Turn your head the other way. I saw it. Looks like it's playing piano cool. on her shoulder. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's or something, it? What is that? What the hell? Now, I have no Next idea what this thing is, is, as I have never seen a video glitch that looks anything like this. And this does kind of look like, well, a finger to me. But if you have a more rational explanation, please let me know down in the comments. You can watch this video in the entire live stream over on the YouTube channel. Unearthly Wanderings. This creepy video was sent in to us by YouTuber Filthy Valentine. In his email, he explains that there is an abandoned house in the hillside woods above his town that is said to be haunted. He plans to explore it. So after a long walk through the woods, he finally finds the home and begins to film his Lovely. exploration. Now, this video was definitely recorded with a potato phone 2004. But even through all the blocky pixels, he does seem to capture something oh, truly no. bizarre. Don't like this. This looks like it must have been at one point a pool. Oh, fucking no shit, yes, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a house. Oh, look, there's some bricks. <laughs> Is that a wall? Is that a wall? I don't care. I'm guessing it's gonna be not nice. Shadow man. Who says that? Did you see it? As In the window? the abandoned house, what seems to be a pale, distorting face. <laughs> says that he didn't even notice this bizarre figure until he went through his footage back just, at home. It's just a head. He has no idea who or what this could be, and he says that he was completely alone at the time. It's just a so head. So did he capture something paranormal? Or just what is this? Let me know. You can stop by viewer Phillips. Never editing a video. <laughs> That he and a marine guard were on duty on a ship sailing just off the coast of Somalia. Because the ship was in danger of attack from a group of Somali pirates that had been spotted earlier, all ship passengers were on lockdown and safely inside. Philip says that absolutely no one was allowed on the deck of the ship, and no one could even access the deck area without passing by the marine guard. So Philip is shocked when they check the boat's CCTV camera 
and see this on the ship's deck. Oh, wow. this is the one we see last week. A bit of context, though, that. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't feel like we had all this. Didn't they say it was their engine room last week when we watched it? And now it's saying that <clears throat> it's actually on deck, but no one was allowed out there. Which makes a lot more sense. Donny with swag ready to go boogie. Did you notice you see it kind of float off before? It wasn't as good Someone a quality last week. To appear on the deck but we noticed it just, be standing just there, disappear. Motionless. Then after a few seconds, whoever yeah, but even when you notice it disappear, disappear, you can see it kind of kind of like going yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, The security crew immediately does a sweep of the deck to locate the person, but they find no one. The crew has no idea who or what their CCTV camera captured that night. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Room 208. I mean, well, those are all lovely. It seems to be a lot of like apparitions this week rather than shadows peekaboos or anything dark yeah. shadows and peekaboos and obviously we had Terry getting fingered for the first one so what you mean by that what he thinks is an open pool Terry the Australians oh uh, yeah you use an Australian accent <laughs> yeah that's why oh that's why you didn't know what I was saying <laughs> Terry getting fingered ah, ah. I'm so sorry see, I'm sorry I know this has no, nothing to do with the video yet I'm sorry but I see a video on TikTok yesterday of some um, guy asking Americans like questions to try and like say like how dumb they are getting them answers and he says what language do people speak in Africa obviously a trick question because there's so many different languages she said English with an African accent. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> I mean, even if he was politically incorrect and said African, it would have been acceptable. <laughs> People are stupid, man. I'm Come just on. stalling so we don't keep watching. Room 208. Let's go. Popular Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Clipstore received a strange message from one of their viewers. The anonymous man claims that a few years back he and a group of friends explored an abandoned hotel in Fun. Japan. Fun. The story goes that a female member of their group wandered off and just disappeared. When they finally found her, she was incoherent, hunched over in front of a bathroom mirror in room 208. No. He says that the girl was just never the same again. How can you be? She was hospitalized soon after and later consigned to a mental ward. After this experience, the girl's friends now believe that the hotel's room 208 is cursed. So completely alone, investigator Gachan sets out to explore the creepy hotel. Now the hotel has been abandoned for over 20 years and is in a terrible state. Gachan searches the building trying to find the allegedly cursed room 208. Bro, All he knows it. about the room is that it is said to be decorated in an older Japanese style. He's busting doors like. No, thank you already. No. Why is it always the Asian ladies? He sounds like an orator. Oh, don't do that. Definitely don't do that. <sighs> what is this? I thought that was someone talking then, but it was the... <laughs> he's too calm for what he's doing. 
He follows the sound and bizarrely, it leads him right to room 208. Oh. I don't think you could ever get me to go in that room. You. I don't think they could get you to go in the building. You. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a mirror. No. No. Crazy, even, even thing in that. Imagine, imagine having to edit that. You're seeing, you're seeing stuff that really isn't there. Just go away from the mirror, please. <laughs> oh my god! Can you see that? Oh my! Oh. I, I wasn't even oh. fucking out. <laughs> I wasn't even watching. Excuse it my French. Enough. Excuse my French. Like I, just, I can't do mirrors. I wasn't. I was watching, but I wasn't like that, concentrating. Listen, anyway. that thing had been there for ages. Good luck. When editing this. I didn't even see that. But nevertheless, I saw something else. Toward the location where he saw the figure, but there's no one there. He's not even running to that figure. Chan is a little spooked and decides it might be best to just get out of there. So, could this creepy? You're seeing his. I'm seeing his hand. Th there, there's, there's a there's yeah, mirror. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just it's just bouncing off. But I didn't even notice this. This is worse. I'm glad that. Give me what drove the girl to madness. It wasn't just the. Let me know what you think. The grudge just gonna. Walk. I was expecting the grudge to just walk past. Creepy videos with English subtitles over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. A walk through the great. I don't know what's. Worse. Wrong with these people. What do you mean? Because we did one, and that was like, my. My legs would barely walk Ooh. forward. But these people are walking through places like that on their own. <laughs> no, he was calm. He was very calm. Staring into mirrors and yeah, he, like, he was very calm. You're to be able to do that, you gotta not believe in it at all. Yeah, the naivety level must be one hundred. Like you can't, Ignorance be, you can't believe in ghosts a single bit to be that calm there. Mm. But you must believe in ghosts if you're going to look for them. So I don't know how it works that, it, itself out. Logically, it doesn't. Wait, give. Um, I'm, I basically made. I I I should. Yeah, myself. you made. I made, <laughs> I made myself shit myself. Yeah, that's what happened. That, that was um very fun. Right. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Justin Richards, who says that he and his two friends were exploring a small allegedly haunted graveyard in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, when they captured something downright creepy. And they said we can come to the graveyard ourselves and see if people one time to be uh, trying to capture anything. Alright, where are you? Nowhere else. Give me a sign that you're here. Something. Anything. No, don't ask for that. Yeah, you keep scanning like that. Did you see it? No. When slowed down and bright and some dark figure can be seen walking in front of the friends. 
Justin says he has analyzed the footage over and over, but can find no explanation for this creepy apparition. Can you see that? As he goes, gets closer, it stops walking. This stops walking. It's standing there. I was going to say, I, I was going to say, I see it so take it's a step, a and step, and then it seems like it's, it's not, not moving. It's down still. This is nothing. And then what really made me believe that this is not his shadow is this is a half wall <laughs> right here. So if by some chance I had a light that bright, which I don't, you can see that there's no light here that's that bright. Okay. I would not have seen a top half of him. I would only seen the bottom half because of the wall. Mm. So just what did Justin capture on camera it's sort of... in the graveyard? Let me know. Do you know it reminds me of the, the other one. Truth. It reminds me of the other one when we can see on the camera that that thing's there and then they come through and they shine a light on it and it basically just passes straight through it it was that looked like it was playing red light green light like it looked like it noticed that it is it's been like, saying oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're probably there's probably a special rule that they will use where they're not actually meant to be on camera it seems like you were it. just on a Sunday stroll. What's that? Yeah, but saying that, why are these all so mm, on peekaboos? No. <laughs> Stop putting that thing. <laughs> I'd be sick of red light, green light. Unless you get shot. And I'm not playing. I thought that would make you be even better. Consequences. Kent Burris from the YouTube oh. channel Ghost of Carmel, Maine, lives in an old house in Carmel, Maine. We know. It's extremely haunted <laughs> by several spirits. I like how warning. Every time they see a video from him, they now, always say, like, he lives in a haunted house, by the way. Both paranormal believers and skeptics alike. But in his most recent video, Kent actually invites independent paranormal investigators oh, into his home this. to witness and experience the activity for themselves. The investigators bring all of their ghost hunting equipment and devices and start checking every room in the house. There's a bag of man. They are shocked by what they encounter. Oh my god. That's, I'm not sure. Shut that thing off. Oh, there we go. Is that his EMS? EMF, REM pod, everything's never off. Thought we might have, but I'm not now. I'm not sure. You see when that, when that ghost thing kind of goes past the camera into that hole. Oh, it might be that. Yeah, it might be leading up to that. That's not normal. That is not. So that's one that detects if something's by it. Yes, that the, you can leave that thing in your bedroom while you sleep at night. It's never in your room. Nothing will happen. This is not normal. This is the only place I've ever seen this. The investigators say that they have never experienced anything like what's happening at Kent's home. A woman named Janice, who says she has 20 years of experience in the paranormal field, asked Kent if her group can investigate the very supernaturally active basement of his house yeah, yeah, without him that. being present. So Kent agrees, but with one condition, that they will not provoke the spirits to get a reaction, since of course Kent reminds them that he still has to live in the house after they leave. But, wouldn't you know it, they just don't listen. A static infrared camera in the basement records as Janice begins to provoke whatever it is that might haunt the basement. Yeah, this is and the angle course, I remember. it did not go well. And she's like, oh, something hit right, my leg. I want to take another tack with this. Out of respect for Kent, I'm not going to piss you off, okay? Out of respect, he has no provoking. I respect that. Put, do something. Push me. <laughs> Play with my hair. Okay? No provoking. Push me. Come on. Play with my hair. Oh. Something push me. 
Janice gets that exactly is so what she quick. asked for us. Something it's so violently quick. pushes her. That angle at the looks, exact same time, the it looks like it is a different. The, the, the angle we see before weren't like that. It looks like it hits itself as well. Wall. Like it kind of hits so, the wall. And this was a while ago. But after Kent opened up his home to all of these paranormal investigators, most of them seemed convinced. Two different paranormal investigation teams and many curious ghost hunters now say that they have personally witnessed strange supernatural activity in Ken's house. Go on again. Like hits the wall and like... But do you think that these <clears throat> encounters are proof that Ken's house is really haunted? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. Definitely check out this full uncut video for yourself as well as many more spooky ghost investigations over on the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here. Oh. Um Honestly, I think Carmel, Maine would probably be the sickest place to play hide and seek. Want me to elaborate? I will, because there's so much stuff going on that you'll end up following what you thought was someone. Where are you gonna hide? That it doesn't even matter. Where are you gonna hide? Because every single room has a shadow walking around in it, or bouncing off the wall, or flying, or jumping out of a window. Where are you hiding? But my point is, <laughs> it will be the quickest game of hide and seek ever. What? All right, go hide. I'll count down from twenty. By the time you get to 10, I'm running back in. <laughs> Still, I don't mm. care. Best place for hide and seek. That, but that one had a lot more context to it as well, though. Yeah, Luke's always, always has more, does. Yeah, always, more previous like, information. Gives it more context, yeah. Like the, the whole, even the boat one. The... I feel like the angle we watched was different. Hence why it looks like we can see it hit the wall now. It didn't look like that before. I think I feel like Luke puts them up as a better quality as well because the boat one he gave he actually mm. said it was on deck where I think they said it was like in the engine room or something before and it, that seemed better quality and that seemed a lot better quality as well. Yeah, you can definitely see it. It looks like it's a different path, which is but obviously there's bare of them. So mm. even if they got the clip from another angle, fair enough. I think we might have that for the next couple of weeks like one or two clips that are the same from people just because they've been struggling to get content but <sighs> this, we'll this, this wasn't a nice one from the beginning are they ever this one is like, oh, it's like I feel like a, it's a win <laughs> because we went to a Japanese hotel room and there wasn't anyone that looked like the grudge I mean, woman like well, as soon as it went there and he was looking in the mirrors I was expecting just a something just like the that woman, just like hello, hi. <laughs> like it was just a shadow in the background, so that's a win for me. <clears throat> Still, nothing nice about the the whole exterior of of that room two hundred eight. Like that that room two hundred eight had the whole vibe of I dare you to come inside. The whole outside was looked like hmm. So we learnt today. No more boats. No more. Hotels, what? and we burn cupboards with small people hiding inside them. Yeah, I definitely could imagine you just going on to a, an utter outrage. If I had seen, <laughs> if I, no, because you, if I, if you're sitting there, I don't want it to come back out. So I'm throwing it this way onto the doors. Yeah, so I know. now I know what you're doing. I mean, if it's a ghost, it'll probably just stand up and go through the cupboard. But it can't be too safe. And then I'm going to put a chain around it. A couple back locks. Rock salt. Cover it in cement. Then it won't burn when you set it on fire. I'm not throwing it at the bottom of the river. So you're going to do all it. If you, you don't. You don't physically have Throwing the it at the bottom of the river. <laughs> so I'm covering it in cement putting it on a boat <laughs> and then I'm going to see a ghost in the boat <laughs> so I'm jumping off with it <laughs> you might as well just, just cement your hand to just it just can't escape now I need to just be in a padded room and just be left alone 
and bounce off walls. Yeah, but you're saying that the moment you get in that padded room and the lights go off. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought I won. If you like this video, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel as always. Getting closer and closer to the 2,000 subscriber mark. Come man, come subscribe, the boys. Get your comments down below. Any suggestions? Uh, what you thought of this video? Mm, mm, what you mm. would do if there was a ghost child hiding in your cupboard? From our own experiences, we will tell you: the moment you arrive, you don't want to go, and then when you leave, you've never been happier. <laughs> And click the join button if you want to support us even more. Peace. No, I got a flow. When I react, the man's got cold. When I react, the man's got gold. You look up, be at stick in your reacts. It was a big reacts, the man's got no. Anything goes, you know, this year just gonna blow like I won't have it. You won't manage. So I'm real, I'm sad like magic. Part with a man that also savage.